Okay, so hello Sadie. As as per usual, you heard you heard a video was being recorded, so you decided to jump in here with your tail wagging everywhere. Um so yeah, so I'm doing this on my laptop, which is why I can't record from my laptop, because it will look really weird like I'm just staring you in the face. Got my microphone down here. Um so as I've been saying in Discord, I've been wondering if I'm autistic or not. My therapist says that does seem to be like high functioning artistic. So I've been doing research and trying to like learn more about it and everything. And yes, I'm in the same sweater. I like this sweater. Um, the only reason you hadn't seen it in a while was because I lost it and now I found it. So that. Yeah, so um, I've been looking. So I've been watching some videos of uh women with autism and stuff like that see what their kind of experience was oh and also these are my uh blue light uh things that go on my glasses because it's just been way too bright today i hate how bright it is a lot of times um but yeah so there's this quiz and i wanted to go through these go through this quiz hopefully before my battery runs out and let's just see how far it is i've already started with a few questions and i'm just looking like this is confusing like why is this test so damn confusing i don't know okay so first question is do you have a good sense of how much pressure to apply when doing things with your hands what what does that mean what does it mean and i literally was like looking at my hands like what, what do you mean to pressure to apply what am i doing with my hands that I need to be mindful of the pressure. <laughs> like I don't, is it, if it's, is it if I pick up something? Like are people out there just squeezing things all the time and they need to know how much to squeeze? I don't understand, I don't understand. So I literally just left that as, as a question, I said don't understand. Um, and this is the rdos.net quiz. Um, okay, so another question is says, do you mistake noises for voices? I'm sorry, I just can't. I keep looking at myself. I might as well just put this thing like right in my face. I keep looking at myself. It says, do you mistake noises for voices? Um, That's happened a few times, so yeah. Um, it says, do you need to do things yourself in order to remember them? Always, always. You could tell me a million times and I'll be looking at you like, mm-hmm, yep. So when am I going to do it? Because I ain't nothing you say going to matter in a minute. And it's so frustrating because I feel like I come across as dumb sometimes. Because, like, if you give me instructions to do something that's not actually a thing you do, like, if you say, oh, in these situations, you should say this, that's really, really hard to model unless I'm, like, standing next to the person and then they, that exact situation happens. But, like, later on, I won't be able to remember what the fuck it is you told me to do so that's very frustrating um okay um do you have an avid perseverance in gathering cataloging information on topic of interest yeah i already know we i could do several ted talks on several things um that i love and then if i don't love it or it's just outside of that thing that i love and you love it but you love that other thing that i don't be paying attention to i'll be looking at you crazy it happens a lot with horror like yeah i do like horror stuff but i don't like every single thing in horror like i have very specific things that i like that i remember all the details about and then there'll be somebody where they're like oh i like horror too and it's this other thing that's unrelated to my thing and i'm just looking at them because like i have no idea about this thing like that i don't know who that person is like they're like but they're in this movie i'm like yeah i saw that movie don't give a f about the cast <laughs> like if they weren't in the movie that i like i don't know it's it's, it's a lot of stuff. Like, my therapist was telling me, too. She was like, there's so much you know about Japanese culture. You know way more than I even care to know. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> um, do you find it hard to be emotionally close to people? It's really hard. It's really hard. And that's a combination of the complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And um, if, it is, if it is autism, it's a combination of that and the stress because of, like, just the way people have done me in the past um 
do you find it very hard to learn things you're not interested in? Very, very hard. I failed at math almost my entire life. <laughs> Um, it's so hard. It's so hard. I don't understand. I do worse than other people, which is hard because I'm supposed to be like the smartest person, right? But, uh, that's hard. Um, do you tend to say things that are considered socially inappropriate when you're tired, frustrated, or when you act naturally? Yes, it's been very hard because it took a lot of negative reinforcement throughout my life, but especially in college. Cause I feel like throughout my life, like elementary through high school, I didn't interact with enough people um, for me to get the negative reinforcement that I got in college. In college, I interacted with a lot more people. I tried to force myself to, you know, put yourself out there, talk to people, don't, don't hide in the corner, don't shut yourself off. And because of that, I got a lot of negative um, reactions to the way that I spoke or the things that I said, which is not, it's not fun. It's not a good thing, but it, it is what helped me, um, understand, like, I need to talk differently or I need to not say certain things or like be quiet for a certain amount of time to see how people might react to things. But yeah, I said a lot of things where people were like, oh, why? Why would you say that? And I'm like, damn it, I'm trying to say what the fuck y'all saying. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a part of the conversation. Why is it so hard? Um, yeah, so I think that, that is that the far as I got? No. Okay. Um, can you easily remember verbal instructions? No, I cannot. I cannot easily remember verbal instructions. My therapist has told me multiple things multiple times. If I do not write it down and then later go back and read it, I'm going to struggle. Um, do you find it easier to understand and communicate with odd, unusual people than with ordinary people? I feel like I've made videos about this, um, like how people that I've been friends with that I probably shouldn't be friends with um, because there's like stuff that's off by, about them. And other people are like, no, stay away from that person. They're crazy. Something's weird about them. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I'll talk to them. Anyway, and then the next one was, do you feel irritated when one person disagrees with what everyone else in the room believes? I don't understand this question at all. Um, I'm trying to think of situations where there's been like a general consensus and someone thought something different. Um, and I just, I just can't think of anything. I don't, like, I feel like people think different, so... I, I don't know. I don't I don't know why why that would bother someone. Do you like to follow and walk behind people you are attached to? I also don't understand this question, but I also have a lot of attachment injuries. Um when I try to think about the people I'm attached to, I don't know if I felt the need to walk behind them or in front of them. I know I often end up being like the protector of the group. Um, and I would be with a group. And so, like, if you're protecting people, you protect them from, like, any side, I guess. I don't know if I specifically was like, I have to be behind you or in front of you. And I can't think of a scary situation where they were like, oh, Minu, you in, you in front or Minu, you in the back. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, so I don't understand the question. Are you easily distracted? Yeah. But I feel like so many other people are too. Like I feel like a lot of people are easily distracted these days. So we have a we have shorter attention spans than the previous generations due to technology. But um and so then it says, Do you have problems recognizing faces? I but sometimes I, I don't know if I I feel like I have talked about this in videos where I didn't like when I started making videos and like editing the videos, like I didn't recognize that that was me talking in the videos like I didn't it was like I was watching a different person you know making a video and there'd be sometimes I'd be like hmm what she says kind of funny you know um and it took a while for me to be like oh that's me that I'm looking at like like I know logically that's me right but it's like I didn't know that that was me it's really really weird it's really weird um, and then there's also the struggle is that, um, throughout 
I don't think I got glasses until like late elementary school. So I, I never really, I don't really recognize people by their faces. I recognize them by like the shape of their body, how they carry themselves, maybe the color of their hair, um, their skin color, not necessarily their face. Like there's been several times like when you're on Facebook and they're like, do you know this person? And it'll be like, a and I'll be like, do I? And then later I like actually see them and they're like, oh, hey, Minu. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, you, right. But it's like looking at pictures or videos of people like I don't, I don't look at their faces. So there's so much more that goes into me recognizing a person than just looking at their face. And I still do that to this day, even though I've had glasses for however many years. Like, I just. And and I think, too, like, I feel like I say sometimes, like, I can recognize you from afar because I'm not looking for your face. I'm looking at the shape of your body, how you carry yourself, how you how you act, because there's a lot more in that than there is in just a face, I think. Um, so then it says, do you find it easy to describe your feelings? No. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, and I, I, I know so many words. I used to read the dictionary. I know so many words and I still struggle to identify um, the feelings that I'm feeling. Um, have you formed strong attachments? Uh, have people you form strong attachments to taken advantage of you? Absolutely. That is also trauma and attachment in, in, injuries. Um, do you find it disturbing or upsetting when others show up either later or sooner than agreed? Yes, it is upsetting and I, I hate to be the person who's like super on people about that. And I feel like there's been a couple times when I've been not as punctual um, and I feel really, really bad about it for whatever reason to the point now where I just leave everything early to get to places early and just hang out and wait for people to show up because I cannot stand not showing up at the time we were supposed to show up at and I get upset when people... Like, if I'm about to meet you and you don't show up when you said you were going to show up, that's, like, really uncomfortable. But I, I try not to impose it on people. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be that person who's just, like, you have to be on time. You have to be early. Like, I'd rather be early and sit there awkwardly waiting for whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing to start than to be late to something. And it used to really piss me off even when I was younger when my mom would always make us late to everything everything she didn't care about we had to be late to if she cared about it we had to be early but we would always be late to stuff and it would make me so upset and i would like have to, i would like calculate like how long it takes to get there and everything and we would get in the car and she would drive 10 miles under the speed limit and then we'd be late and i'd be so upset and everybody would get mad at me for being upset um let's turn this a little bit yeah Okay, um, do you have a monotonous voice like a monotonous voice? I, I said sometimes because I put a lot of effort into making my voice more animated. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into being more animated just because I've had a lot of times in the past where my lack of expression whether in my voice or my face or my body like makes people upset and it's not that I'm like not feeling stuff I just don't feel it as strongly as other people feel it but people get upset like and there'll be a lot of negative reactions They're like wow you really don't care and I'm like it's not that I don't care I just don't I don't understand why y'all are like it just seems like people are way more excited about things than me. But I can be excited. I can be excited. I'm just not like, woo, you know, like, even when it's like something that I always wanted. Like when I when I got to Japan for the first time, it was just like, oh, great, I'm here, you know, um, let's, let's, let's go. And where everybody else was like, oh, my God. And I was like, I, y'all can calm down a little bit. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so... What Sadie? Um, I'm uncomfortable just talking about this stuff. It's it's kind of embarrassing. Hey Sadie, 
Um, is it hard for you to approach someone you're attracted to? Um, so I'm reading this question for the second time. And at first I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean approaching someone you're attracted to? Um, but I guess if you're approaching someone, like if I, if I, if I think about platonic attraction, I don't know what this test is trying to say. I don't know what type of attraction they're talking about. Um, cause I don't feel sexual attraction to people. So there's not a situation where I'm like trying to hook up with someone and I struggle to, sorry about the thing outside. They are blowing away the leaves, but, um, if I'm platonically attracted to someone, like maybe I meet somebody and I'm like, oh, this person seems cool. Like we could be friends. We could hang out. Like it's going to take a lot of interactions with that person for me to actually be like, do you, do you, do you want to hang out? Like without the other people, like it, it takes so much, so much for me to do that. And it's very frustrating. Um, to the point where sometimes I just wish they would say something like, like, cause you know, it's just, it's, it's just hard. It's hard. I don't like chasing people. So I'll, you know what? I'll change it from, I don't know what you're talking about to yes, it is hard to approach people. Do you bite your lip, cheek, tongue or tongue when thinking anxious or nervous? I bite my tongue so much to a point where I've actually bitten off part of my tongue. Um, do you see your own activities as more than other people's? Yes. Why is that a question? Like, everybody's thing is the most important thing to them like it doesn't like that's just yeah I don't even know of any other words to put to that like if it's your thing if it's your activity it's more important to you than it is to other people because it's yours and I expect other people to think the same um are you sometimes afraid in safe situations uh yeah I have a hard time distinguishing what's safe and according to my therapist, much to her, her surprise, um, I have a hard time distinguishing what is a safe situation. So yeah, but that's also trauma. That's also trauma. Um, are you bothered by clothes tags or light touch? I know what this is referring to because I've seen I've seen uh people talk about this. I I don't know if anyone's ever light touched me. Like, um, I don't have, I can't really tell because most of my clothes, I don't get clothes with clothes tags. I get clothes that whatever the stuff is, is like imprinted on the inside of the thing. There's not tags. Um, and maybe that's something, I don't know. Like I just, I, the, the clothes that I buy do not have tags in them. They they have like an imprint on them, kind of like how your underwear will have like an imprint of like machine wash cold. Um, like even this, like this um, does not have a tag on it. It doesn't even have a thing on the inside to tell you which side is the back and which side is the front. <laughs> it's a little choky, I will say, but the rest of it feels good, so I accept it. But, um, so maybe, maybe, I'll say, i put a one there. As I'm ta- I, I'm talking it through now, I'm thinking more. It's, it's easier to do that. Do you need a lot of motivation to do things? To do what things? I don't understand the question. A lot of motivation to do to do hard things to do things you don't want to do to do chores like what does that mean i need more i need more information there to know what you're talking about do you obstruct others plans god i hope not i hope i don't obstruct others plans i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say no i don't obstruct others plans and i hope that i don't and i hope that if i do they don't let me because i would feel really bad if someone planned to do like i like as I think about it more like I've literally been in situations where I'm like not okay and if and I will call a friend and they'll be like I'm getting groceries and I'll be like okay never mind bye (laughs) I'm just gonna sit on the side of the road for a minute um and hope that somebody else somebody helps me or I just magically get better because I don't want to interrupt the fact that you're getting groceries sorry 
So yeah, no, I don't obstruct others' plans. Do you tend to de develop romantic feelings for people that persistently show interest in you? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, I don't develop romantic feelings. So then I'll say no, because I I don't I don't feel romantic for people. Um, do people sometimes think you are smiling at the wrong occasion? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, should not, should not be showing the emotion that I am showing at that time. Unfortunate. And people, and people would tell me, they would get so upset. Uh, like I said, I get a lot of negative reinforcement in college, um, from forcing myself to interact socially um before doing something or going somewhere do you need to have a picture in your mind of what's going to happen as to be able to prepare yourself mentally first 100 percent, absolutely yes yes i gotta know that when i go into whole foods there'll be a lot of white people <laughs> and I, there'll be a lot of white people i'm gonna walk into this door i'm going to walk down this way i'm gonna go around here i'm gonna go around here like i can't just be walking into places not knowing what i'm doing or i'm gonna end up standing in the corner looking confused and like I don't want to be there even if I do want to be there like I can't just go places like well, I don't understand like what you asking me don't everybody like just go place like do people just be like I'm gonna hang out at the bar and they don't do any they don't know what they're gonna do before they get to the bar no because even if you get if you're going to a bar you know you're gonna go to a bar you're gonna get drinks right so you know what you're gonna do before you go to the bar now I'm starting to feel like this is a trick question. I, I have a problem, too, where my therapist always gets on me where I feel like, like, she asks me questions, and I always feel like I have to say the correct answer. And she's like, just say whatever you're thinking. And I'm like, no. I need to tell you. I need to win therapy. I need to say the correct answer to get the right. And she's like, there's no right answer. Like, she'll see me doing it, and she'll be like, there's no right answer. There's no right answer. And I'll be like, I'm still searching. I'm still searching. I'm going to give you the right answer to this. Um, that's how I feel when I take tests. It's like, I'm just so used to, I think it's maybe why I do so well on standardized tests. It's because like, I know the right answer. There's always a right answer. In situations where there is no right answer, I'm very stressed. Um, do you tend to get absorbed by your special interests that you forget or ignore everything else? I will say, hmm, yeah, I would say sometimes, man, like it really, it really throws me off. It's, it's like, it's hard, right? Cause you work from home and you get into something and like, that's, that's like the thing that you want to do like all day. That's, that's the thing. And then you have to get work and you're just like, I don't want to no. I want to do this thing all day long. Like the, whatever the thing is that I'm doing is like the thing that I want to do all day long that I want to do for several hours at a time that I will forget to eat lunch or I will forget that I'm supposed to be drinking water and staying hydrated um, and all of that stuff because that's just the thing that I want to do for a period of time. And I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, I've, it's, it's really hard. I'm trying to get back into video games because I felt like I used to be able to put so many hours into a video game and not like move. And that was so fun to me, and I'm I'm mad because I'm having some technology issues right now. Um, but even with some of the games, like I used to be so absorbed into reading, like that would just be my thing for like several days, like whatever story I'm reading, like several days to like four or five a.m. in the morning, just reading. Like, but I also feel like is isn't that a good thing? I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. This is this is what's coming to my mind as I'm doing this. But yeah, I can get really into into things to a point where I don't do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And since it's just me in the house, like I live alone, ain't nobody here to come and tell me to do different. <laughs> um, has it been harder for you than others to keep friends? Fuck yeah, sucks. Hate that. Have you been accused of staring? Hmm. No, I don't think anyone's accused me of staring because I don't look at people that hard in the first place. So I don't think anybody's ever said, why are you staring at me? Um, people stare at me. I was like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, do you realize hours later that you have a romantic interest for actually 
showed interest for you and then feel bad about the missed opportunity connect do you realize hours later that somebody that you have a romantic interest for actually showed interest for I ain't I've not, I've not been in the situations <laughs> somebody had a romantic interest for me no no I've not been in a situation do you have urge to peel flakes off yourself and or others I not it's not peel but I love plucking hairs do you have difficulty judging distance, height, depth, or speed? Like, on my own? Like, <laughs> like, I guess, like, that's like, that's that math, man. I don't do math. Well, um, do you have certain routines which you need to follow? Absolutely. I build routine. I build routines of shit that I don't even really like to do, but I have to do it. And I have to stick to it, like, every day. Or else, like, well, I don't really know. There's, there's no one to come in and, like, slap me and be like, you didn't do your thing. But, like, once I fall off that thing, it's like, oh, uh, I feel awful. But I, like, have to, I have to get it. And I, there's new routines that I'm trying to build with regards to, like, health and stuff. And it's, I feel like it's slowly working. But I have more to do. But there's just certain things that's, like, this has to be done. This has to be the first thing you do in the morning, this series of things. And then at night, these series of things have to be done in order for you to go to bed. If you do not do these things before you go to bed, you will not be able to go to bed. I cannot just go to sleep. All these different things have to be in place first. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I do absolutely have routines I need to follow. Do you tend to express your feelings in ways that baffle others? Yes. Um, trying to, like I said, trying to get better at being overly expressive um, so that people get the reactions that they need out of me to feel good. Um, but it's, it's hard. Do you find it easy to estimate the age of people? What? Not really. Like I was, <laughs> I mean, one time I looked at somebody's baby and I was like, that baby gotta be like, what, one and a half, two years now. They'd be like, that baby, she had that baby two months ago. I'd be like, <laughs> oh, my bad. I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, do you find it easy to estimate the age of people? No, not at all. I thought it was a good thing, though. Like, I always felt like it was a good thing, especially with women, to be like, what are you, 35? You know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Do you have odd hair? Most people are standing up when short or other. What the fuck? Do you have odd hair? For example, multiple whorls standing up when short or other peculiarities. What? I mean, if you mean my hair on my head, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't like to do stuff. Um, do you like to protect people you're attached for, attached to, even when they don't ask for it? Absolutely, I'm the protector. That's also a trauma and attachment thing, though. Are you shy? Yes. Do you tap your ears or press your eyes when thinking, when stressed or distressed? I do not tap myself. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you find it natural to wave or say hi when you meet people? No. It's always uncomfortable meeting people. Like, you don't, like, like, I mean, I guess, I guess the, the socially acceptable thing is to say hi, right? Like, that makes logical sense, right? But it's not a natural thing, especially if I don't know if they're going to want to hug from me or not. So, like, I'm, like, really thinking, like, okay, I'm going to walk in there. Like, what's going to happen? What are they going to say? What do I need to say when I see them? You know what I mean? Cause like, I like if I don't think this shit through, I will walk into your house and I will sit down and we'll start and start talking about something else, and then be like, "Fuck, I didn't say hey." And then I'll be mad at myself for the rest of the time that I'm there. Um, okay, so no, it is not natural to wave or say hi when I meet people. Um, sometimes I pretend I don't see people, so I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to worry about acknowledging them, but sometimes they'll stop my ass and be like, hey. And I'm like, hey. Um, do you examine the hair of people you like a lot? What do you mean like a lot? Um, no, nah, people have people have hair. What do you mean examine? Like touch? I don't touch people. I don't really understand this question. Um People just have hair. Um, if there is an interruption, can you quickly return to what you don't the fuck? No, no, I hate it. 
<laughs> I hate it. I be mean, so I be having a groove, and then they be like work meeting, and I be like fuck, my whole day is off. My whole day is messed up because I was doing this thing and I was into this thing, and then I had to be in a fucking meeting with you, and now my whole day is off because I didn't get to do the thing that I want to do. I didn't get to finish it. And I don't and I don't go back to it either. Like I'm just like no, it's so we gotta try again tomorrow. Try again tomorrow. Um. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's an interruption, can you quickly return to what you were doing before? I accidentally pressed two. Okay, zero. Do you enjoy big events even if they're crowded? Fuck no. I hate crowds so much. I hate, I hate going out afternoon because it's just too many people. It'd be too peopley outside, man. It's too loud and it's too crazy. Do you prefer to construct your own set of spiritual beliefs rather than following the existing religious system? Yeah, sure. That's what I'm working on. Are you asexual? <laughs> who, is, who is this test think it is? Okay. First of all, you're asking me all of these romantic stuff. Now you ask me if I'm asexual? Yes, 100%. I am asexual. Yes. Matter of fact, 47. Am I even answering these questions properly? Hold on. Zero is no. Two is yes. Okay. I'm on 47 out of like 100 and something. Um. Yes, I'm an asexual. Do you have problems finding your way to new places? I mean, if I have a GPS, no. I'm going to put one down. Do you have an urge to learn the routines of people you know? I feel like... I do like to know what people be up to. I do like to know. I do like to know. I'd be like, okay, and this, like, it, it does, like, stress me out because I'm just like, if I know what you're doing and I know when you're done doing the things that you're doing, like, I know that you get up at this time and then you drive to work at this time and, you, and then when you leave work at this time, it takes you this long to get home. Like, then if I want to talk to you, I can just be like, well, I know that if I call you at 6 p.m., like, you'll be like, driving home or something like that. You know what I mean? It just makes sense, like, to know uh, what people are up to some people have no routine at all and that's confusing um but yeah like thought i like to know the routines do you tend to shut down and have a meltdown when stressed or overwhelmed yes i'm getting better at it though like i used to be real bad to where people would be like what is wrong with you what is happening right now and i'll just be like i have to run away run away just this is always the solution for me like if i'm having an episode or, like, if I'm just, like, freaking out, I'm panicking or whatever, and, other, and the people around me are being dicks, I just run away. And I've done that at, when I physically worked and at work before. I've literally, like, just gone out and sat in my car um, until I'm able to calm down. Do you get a pleasurable tinging sensation in the head, scalp, or back of body in response to certain sounds? I don't know. I'd have to hear the sound. <laughs> I just I can't I can't think of different sounds that make different things like it's just sounds and sounds. Um, so I I'll just say no. Um, um, do you have an alternative view of what is attractive in the opposite sex? Yes, absolutely. Um, do you enjoy spinning in circles? No, I get dizzy. Um, do you have a tendency to come stuck when asked questions in social situations? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I get stuck all the time. I have to, I have to, that's why you have to plan it out. That's why you have to plan out what you're going to say and what you're going to talk about. And some people it's easier because they just like talk about themselves. You don't got to think too hard, but some people legit be asking you questions and you got to be, you got to be ready. Um, do you forget you're in a social situation when something gets your attention? No, I, I I don't really know because like I do like I can dissociate, you know. Like I feel like there's a lot of times where I feel like I'm just like stuck in a social situation, and I know I can't leave because that'll be weird. Like everybody be like, "Where you going?" Um, so I just dissociate. But like, it, like if something gets my attention, I guess I, I guess I'll dissociate by staring at that thing, and not being active in the conversation. Is that what that is? You really you I don't know. I don't know. Do you get confused by several ver verbal instructions at the same time? Yes, absolutely. Why are y'all all talking to me right now?